Hi, my name is Isabella and I am 17 years old. Today I'm going to be making chocolate chip muffins. And the first thing that we've got to get is our muffin mix. For this recipe, the only things that we need are water, vegetable oil, eggs, and the box mix. And in case you want to make this yourself, um, this is Betty Crocker. I really like their stuff. They have, um, they have good other um, box mixes, um, which is very yummy food in general, so I would recommend if you don't use the, them already. Alright, so the first thing that we have to do is heat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit um, or 400 degrees Fahrenheit for a nonstick pan, which is what I'm going to be using. Alright, hi, welcome to my kitchen. So I just got all the things that we need for the recipe. I've got my measuring cup because we're going to need 3 fourths cup of water and 1 fourth cup of vegetable oil. So I can use the same for both. Um, just do the water beforehand and then after the vegetable oil I can wash it. Then I have my two eggs, obviously my vegetable oil, the box mix, the water is over there in the pitcher, and my mixing bowl. So the first thing I'm going to do is crack the eggs, um, just in case I accidentally get some of the egg chunks in, because I don't want to do the stuff, other stuff beforehand, um, just to make sure that there's no egg shell. <laughs> so I'll crack one. Oh no, my puppies are sniffing around. And then crack the other one. Like that. My puppies wanted to say hi. This is Chip. Say hi, Chip. <laughs> and this is Hershey. Way down there. She's a little bit hiding right now. But Chip's right here. <laughs> they were just bugging me, so I figured I'd let you guys say hi to them. All right, so now that we've added our two eggs, it's time for the three cups of water. Three fourths cups of water, sorry. So I'll just fill this up and put this in three times. Uh, and three. All right, so our next thing is the one fourth cup of vegetable oil. We always use Crisco in my family, but I'm pretty sure that anything works. Put that in there. Now it's time to add the box mix with the rest of our ingredients. I usually use scissors to open it because I don't want to um, make everything fly everywhere. <laughs> and then take it and pour it in. Make sure that you get all of it in because um, it's just good so that you don't accidentally leave. And now for the super fun part. Now we get to stir it all together. <laughs> we have this cupcake spatula that I'm going to use. And let me set the camera down. And you gotta make sure that it's all blended all together because we have a lot of different things inside, specifically the eggs, because um, it can be hard sometimes to get the eggs to blend together with everything. You just gotta do it a little bit and it'll get there. So this is what it looks like when it's done. And I know that you're technically not supposed to do this, but... Mmm, yes. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is get our muffin tray like this. We're gonna get our muffin tray and then we're gonna get our liners. So we usually use one foil liner and one uh, paper one like this. Put it inside and then we're gonna fill up all of the muffin um, slots. Called slots? Muffin, muffin, muffin container sheet things. <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, after that we'll put in the muffin mix. All right, so now we're filling up the muffin liners. You gotta fill them up about three-fourths of the way full so that they have enough room to rise, but they don't rise too much um, because then otherwise you'll have a muffin that's gigantic and then like a muffin that's super small. And I always like to make sure that there's enough chocolate chips in each muffin um, because like you don't want one muffin that has like no chocolate chips and then one muffin that only has a little bit of chocolate chips. Uh, but that's just the way that I like to do it. <laughs> if you don't want chocolate chips, I guess you could take them out. But I don't really know a lot of people who don't like chocolate chips, so. Alright, so now that we've filled up our muffin liners, I still gotta wait for my oven to preheat. So I'll come back when that's ready. And we will be baking the muffins for around 15 to 20 minutes. I usually like to stay it on the smaller side and do 15 and like continually check up on them. Uh, just to make sure that they don't overcook. Because an overcooked muffin is not a good muffin. And like, unless it's only slightly overcooked, like a burnt muffin is not a good muffin. Um, so I'll come back. So the oven is done preheating. So I'm gonna take my muffins and put them in for 15 minutes.
while I wait for the muffins to bake, I'm going to clean up a bit, do the dishes, put away my stuff. It's just a good way to spend the next 15 minutes so I don't have to do it later and I can just enjoy the muffins. All right, so my timer is going off in 10 seconds, so I'm just gonna turn it off preemptively. Ah, stop counting down. Okay, angle to the oven. I just gotta check with my handy dandy toothpick and see how cooked these muffins are. Oh yeah, these are gonna need some more time. Usually I wait until the top of the muffin. Oh, that, why did that stick? Oh, my oven mitt broke. I have a new oven mitt now. <laughs> We're gonna check really quickly um, and see how these are doing. So the ones in the back look fine, um, but some of the ones in the front. Yeah, this needs like two more minutes. All right, everything is ready now, so it's time to take out the muffins. Oh, I'm just gonna grab it. I'm missing one oven mitt now. I'm just gonna do it one-handed. I would recommend two oven mitts, and I would recommend me trying not to break the one, but the muffins are ready, yay! So now I'm just gonna let them cool for about five minutes. And now we have our muffins, which I'm gonna put on this plate uh, so that my family can enjoy them. And now for the best part, seeing how they taste. Yeah, that's really good. Mm-hmm. I really like muffins. <laughs> All right, that's the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed and that you get to use this recipe sometime. Um, my name was Isabella, once again, um, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.